Hello everybody, it's Paul with Reporting Live from my sofa. How are ya? As you can see behind me, there's some grass as well as an electrical box. I'm gonna work on that for my next video. I'm actually filming this with my new camera and new setup, so this is a little experiment. So just bear with me, we'll see how this goes. That might not even make it past the cutting room floor. But that being said, we are going to be talking about a few updates with the Michael, <clears throat> with the Michael Wayne Jones Jr. Saga. Y'all, this is, I mean, y'all, my God. The, you know, this is the guy, he's responsible for taking out his wife and four children. Uh, he basically kept them in the house for several weeks, it seems, until he transitioned them to his car for a few weeks, at which point he took them about 150 miles north of their place in, from Florida, dumped the bodies, got in a wreck with the, wife, the wife's body in the car, got pulled over, and that's where we have met, you know, Mr. Jones Jr. Part Two. So, without further ado, Let's go ahead and review. So I just wanted to talk about a few things that come up that are, you know, with the case that I think is interesting. And it's kind of like just what the family members are saying, what some neighbors are saying, what some authorities are saying. So now when they went to go search the Jones home, they said that it looked like it had been vacant for several weeks and it reeked of decomposition. Uh, and overall, they still don't have a motive for this. Now, I don't know if that'll change today while I'm filming this, but yeah, you know, we'll see. But they still don't have a motive. I can only imagine what that house smelled like. I don't know what that smell is like, but all this stuff we follow, they say, you know that smell. Once you know it, you know what it is. And I'm just like, you had all these bodies, you know, in your house and in the car. I mean, what is up with these Jones Jr. people transporting these dead bodies around with them? I mean, come on. Like, who does that? Apparently, Jones Juniors! No offense to any but Jones Juniors out there who don't do that. So let's talk about his wife, the victim, Casey Jones. Now, her mother said that she hadn't seen Casey uh, or her grandchildren for weeks. Now, apparently what he was doing is using her phone to like text and do kind of like that stuff. So it kept the ruse going of, oh no, I'm here. But uh, eventually one of the family members essentially said when she didn't post anything on Facebook for like one of the kids' birthdays or something, they knew something was up. So the grandmother or Casey's mother, she reached out to the Marion uh, County Sheriff's deputies to basically do the uh, do the report that she was missing and that's what kind of like kicked everything off now other members of Casey's family all were just like this Michael dude he is violent he is not good girl you need to go on her sister Sarah Gilbert she said that you know he was violent he was aggressive obsessive and you know acted really angry and you know towards Casey and even the boys now a neighbor that lived on the street said that you know they were really quiet and mostly kept to themselves it sounded like they hadn't really been living in that residence that long and so the neighbor really didn't have much to say now another neighbor was essentially like look i might have seen something you know scandalous or whatever suspicious and basically she said that she saw him putting garbage bags into the the car like around two in the morning but like nobody else was around so i mean it's probably the bodies because i mean what else are you going to be doing i mean come on now even police officers were like we've never been called to this residence for anything so this, in a sense, in a way, like it has like an out of the blue type scenario to it, but not 100% because people that were close to them knew it's something just hadn't happened yet, apparently. But again, more information will come out. Like I said, they haven't gotten a motive out of him for this yet. Hopefully, I mean, you know, her family will get that. I mean, hopefully we'll get that. So now he is up on October 22nd for arraignment. Now more charges are going to come because they're having to identify the bodies. Essentially, authorities are like, just hold your horses. You know, we are going to be charging him with stuff because people are like, why is he being charged? Oh my gosh. They are gathering, getting all their ducks in order to just rack the charges up with this guy. So that's all the little updates I have on this right now. So we're just going to stay tuned. We're going to be following this. I mean, this is another grisly case and we're just going to see what takes place with it. So I appreciate you hanging out with me and I will see you next time. Y'all have a good day. Take care until later. Sure.